Hello everyone. <laughs> I am really excited right now. <laughs> ah. Some of you might have seen on my page, but I just found out that um, my situation with my kids is changing for the better like I've known that it was going to, and uh, the timing is now, so I'm really excited. So I'm extra excited today. <laughs> but anyways, we're talking about boundaries, okay? And um, inner peace, and finding that inner peace, because it's there for all of us. Because you, good human, <laughs> Whoever you are, whatever you've done, no matter what, there is beauty inside of all of us, goodness inside of all of us. I just know it. I found it in myself, <laughs> and now what I like to do is just talk about it, and um, apparently a lot of people resonate with it. So we're going to keep talking about boundaries, and I want to show you a, a, a film clip, okay, that is just this um, back in 2011 when I first started learning about boundaries and I first started going inward and feeling my feelings and like like I say my the suggestion or my experience has shown me that there's a two-prong approach to finding your fulfillment to finding happiness and joy and peace in your life and then it reflects in the world around you so what we're doing is letting go of the need to change anything outside of ourselves that's what this whole journey is about, going inward and letting go of these cords, these kind of expectations or ideas of how things outside should be. You know, most of us get kind of stuck in feeling like other people need to change for us to be happy and for us to have peace. You know, if just the world would change or if people would just wake up, then everything would be good. Okay, so if you're in that mode, what this process is, is about turning that around and going inward and feeling any feelings that come up when you experience conflict. And then also the other prong to this approach, this two prong approach, feeling the feelings is key. You have to do that in order for this inner change to happen. But a way that you can support your journey as you feel your feelings and learn to tune into your body and learn to um, go inward when you experience conflict is to learn about how to set clear boundaries. And boundaries are essentially how we take care of ourselves. okay? We treat, or we teach other people how to treat us, okay? People can't treat us in a way that we don't want them to treat us unless we allow it. We've all grown up different family cultures and we've been taught different ways of doing things and we literally are unconscious to other options that we have. <laughs> so this journey of going in, we're feeling your feelings, literally your heart starts to open more and more and more and there's just more spaciousness. There's just more in your awareness. You literally become smarter. I remember I used to tell people around me when I was first starting to change and if you've seen pictures of me from back in like 2009, 2010, you can see I've changed a lot. <laughs> And, you know, my face is really slimmed up. I've lost like 30 pounds. I feel alive. I'm much more flexible. My body literally has changed as my heart has opened. And none of that change to my body comes from any dieting or anything like that. I'm eating exactly what I want. <laughs> I just find that my portions are small. And I just trust that my body knows what it needs. And anyways, that's for a whole nother conversation. But here's this video clip that I want to tell you about that um, that I started to think about a lot. And I actually didn't wa hadn't watched it again until today since like 2010 or 2011. And it's from Lord of the Rings. And it's a scene where um, Gandalf, who's the, the wizard, um, the good wizard, and his his crew, the good guys, they go into this city called Rohan, and they go there to rescue the king of Rohan, whose name is Theoden. And it's the first time that we've ever seen Theoden in the, in any of these movies. And when they come in, there when the scene starts, you'll see there um, the Gandalf's just walking up towards the front, and the rest of the crew is kind of fighting off the the guys who are trying to stop them from rescuing Theoden. And so Gandalf the wizard, I love this scene, he gets up there and he says to Theoden, who is essentially overtaken or kind of like possessed by um, Saruman, I think his name is, who is one of the bad guys. And um, Gandalf says, I release you. You no longer have any dominion here or something like that. 
and and Theoden is old looking and decrepit looking and just really kind of kind of fugly if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just oh, just all. And then as Gandalf releases that darkness from him, or releases the and think of that as your conditioning, okay? The conditioning that he's under. You just see he starts to morph into the youthful, beautiful, strong, and healthy looking man that he is. And when I started to come alive, as I started to change and to experience myself in a new way, my mind started to become more clear. As I let go of any expectations that I had for owing other people things, that was the big change for me. Is <laughs> once I own, look, I can't expect anybody to be responsible for me. I can't have expectations that other people be a certain way or else I get upset with them. I got to drop that and start to go inward. And in that, I started to realize, you know what? I don't owe anybody anything. I don't owe anyone anything. And my religion had taught me, you know, that I'm my brother's keeper and that in order to please God that I need to, you know, help other people and and um, and do all of these these things. And what started to change for me is as I gave myself the freedom to be my own person and that I wasn't dependent on this God, you know, wherever he was, um, you know, needing me to do his work for him or else people would go to hell. <laughs> <sighs> That's a tough thing to live under for 35 years, you know, thinking that there's all-powerful God needs us to rescue other people. That's a lot of pressure. And I grew up from, you know, five years old thinking that that pressure laid on me. <laughs> and so this time started in 2011 for me. What a beautiful, beautiful time to start to step out of some of these old beliefs and the old conditioning, which had served me great up until that point. You know, it was fine. But then my eyes started to open and my heart started to open. There was just more awareness, more confidence. More, you know, just a, it was just magical. And I started telling everyone around me, I'm feeling different. You could even go back to my Facebook posts back around, um, you know, between June and November of 2011 is when this started to happen. And then in November, November 13th or November 11th, that, that weekend of 2011, that is when, boom, lots of stuff started to change. And you notice my body starts to change, you know, my, I start to want to grow a beard and let my hair grow and just be myself. And in that, I just felt like I was coming alive, like the old things that were on that I didn't even know, you know, this, the, the conditioning, all the beliefs, all the, the ideas in my head that limited the fullness and the beauty <laughs> of who I really am. You know, my demeanor started to change too, okay? I was a very rigid person. I was very judgmental. I thought things sh should be this way and this way only, very black and white. I was still a good guy. <laughs> and I love myself. You know, I love that person. But it's just not really me anymore. And just like Theoden in this movie clip, I literally, since 2011, have just felt that change. It took about three years for it to really manifest. And then on January 19th of 2014, I had a peak spiritual experience. And, you know, if you don't want to call it spiritual, like I always say, it, that word doesn't really mean anything to me. But I had a very sacred experience on the evening of January 19th. And I'm going to save that for another video. <laughs> But that's when I just knew that my heart would never close again. And you will have a day, if you want it, where your heart never closes again. And so that's how I can talk about that there's, there's no bad guys, you know, that everyone's doing their best. Every single person in this world is doing the best that they know how to do. They're trying their hardest. And if we had the same upbringing, the same thoughts that they have, we would behave in exactly the same ways. So in this process of letting go of the expectations on the outside world, this is a process of going inward, turning into ourselves, and there's a lot of stuff in there. This is a step-by-step -step process. This is not something that you can you know, do uh, in the blink of an eye. But let's make it fun, because now we got a team, okay? We're forming a team here. 
And I'm happy. I don't have no mission, no agenda. I don't do any of this for money. <laughs> I don't do any of this for any reason other than I love it. I just love sharing my heart and I feel so good. I've got to share this with the world. It's just me speaking my experience, okay, of love and heart opening. And on that day when, that you will have, when you realize that your heart will never close again, you also realize, you know what, your heart never really did close. All those times when you got angry and mad and frustrated and you, you did all and said all those things that you wished you never had, you were innocent. Okay, you had feelings coming up in your body and you were not equipped yet to know how to deal with them in a way that was healthy, okay? But you are innocent. You are always innocent. You are just complete beauty and innocence. So I'm going to bring this clip up on my other phone and see if I can video it here. And I want you to imagine that when these guys are fighting off the enemy, and they're walking into this building, that that's you setting healthy boundaries with all the people in your life and all the situations in your life, setting those boundaries. And that Gandalf, the good wizard, is like you walking up to your inner child, to that part of you that you think is dark, that you think you know maybe can't be fixed or maybe that it's too late for you or maybe you're too broken. That part of you is the king, Theoden, and you yourself are going to set yourself free and watch yourself come alive and to find the beauty that is within you. So watch this clip and enjoy. Too long have you sat in the shadows, he says. Look at that guy. How decrepit is he? says, you have no power here, Gandalf. But look at that. Look at the innocence, the beauty, the light. <laughs> and we're losing our battery. But look at the innocence, the beauty, and the light when he throws that coat off. I mean, how awesome is that? And that's what you are in the process of doing. And I support you. Here we go. Draw you, Saruman, as poison is drawn from our wound. <laughs> This is the battle. This is the journey of awakening. It's not easy. He's fighting. The darkness fights. And out it goes. And watch this transformation. Inner peace is about to be found. The beauty that is within all of you, all of us. Look at those eyes come alive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That right there is your journey, my journey, all of our journey to the fulfillment that is seated within all of our hearts. That's it in a nutshell. And now I'm going to stop this. And for part two, I'm going to take a walk up to the Red Rocks and we're going to talk about boundaries. I love you so much. Yay!